Hey guys, it's Ari here, and today we are reviewing the Lego Family House. I mean, I, lo I love this house. I think it's a great house, and it has like 792 pieces or 82, I'm not sure. And the model number is 31012, I think. And this is the advanced build. It's a 3-in-1, and it comes with a light brick. Came out in 2013, so yeah. First here, we can look at these, these minifigures. Um, I named him Mark and her Sarah. He has a little RC car, which comes with it. And on the outside here, we have a little pond. On the front, a little bird in the tree with nice flowers. We have a little deck up here with some chicken grilling and everything. And then on the back, right here, we've got a little patio with a chimney, which I'll explain more in a minute. And then right here, there's not much going on, just some windows. Looks pretty nice. And um, I will explain this in a minute. Actually, right now, because... Oh, yeah, there's a little side door here. I forgot about this. And I love the glass. I love the modern design. And as you can see here, we've got a garage door with this little car that has a really nice creative style. And it rolls really well. It works amazing. I love the wheels. Um, they're really nice and fast. And it's just got that nice style that any maiden at uh, that any mini ha, oops, sorry about that, but any minifigure can drive it. It's really nice and the uh, stupid hair. Okay, sorry. Sarah's hair can be tough to get on, but I love they look epic in it. Really nice and it does fit in the garage easily, but fits perfectly. And so now those little here's what those hatches are for. Yep, to open and close the inside of the house. So let's show you the first room here where everything's going on, the living room, where yes, a Lego creator house actually has furniture. A little spinny chair, which spins around, and a little milk carton or something. Then there are stairs here and you go up and attaches to over here which is this little bedroom with a bed and a light. And then going out here, we already looked at the deck. This is put onto a stud, so it can't just like slide around, as you can see, pushing it with my finger. We've got a coffee mug. So yeah, it's pretty nice down here. Now, up here is just part of the roof. You may wonder, what's this thing? Well, let me put the roof back on and show you what it's for. Push down this. Whoa, it's a light brick. Yep, as you can see, it shines the light. And if you can look through here, you kind of like push this little top thing. And the light is kind of like shining onto the lamp. So that that adds a really nice feel to it. It looks great at night. Let me like turn the light off here. Both of the lights, so I have a little lamp on. Lamp on. It looks really nice, it really shines well, and I like it, so yeah. And then, um, so, um, as you can see here, there are latches on the front, latches on the back and everything. Um, the design is a nice, modern-looking design. It has this really nice, polished, finished look, and so I really appreciate that. On this deck here... Is this like light wood or creamy wood? I'm not sure, but I love that barrier. There is only one thing I don't like about this set, and it's just the smallest little thing. And that is just the hinges for the garage door. This this shows right here, and it looks like it's just out of place. I mean, it's pretty good looking still, but it's just out of place. And so now I'm going to show you the other designs for this. So of course you know. Let's start with the first design, the factory. Um, the factory, I'm not going to build it, but I can show you inside. Like, there's one page in here where it really shows the inside. Hmm. Where is it? I'm sorry. Um, it's hard to find. <laughs> um, here it is. So you've got this little thing showing off some stuff they built. And it goes right here, but other than that, there's nothing going on. 
And there's a little loading cargo car, but that's it. And I like this one. This is the villa. This is the medium build. That was a quick build. I actually really like this one. It was a, was a tough decision whether whether to build that or this because this came with like a little hot tub pool area, a little lounge chair, a nice little palm tree. And it just looked really nice. Like it was extremely difficult to choose. Extremely tough. But as you can see here on the inside there's not freaking much going on either so it's not really worth it um the factory has the book has a total of 75 pages no 76 76 pages in the factory which is okay the villa has an, another total of 76 but there's there's more stuff going on each page and then the um the family house has um Two books, and the first book has um, a grand total of 60 pages, which is pretty good. Then the second book um, has a grand total of 50 pages, so in total that's about 110. So that's not bad. And on this house, I have to say, even on the back, this looks like it's really one of a kind. I mean. Of course, they never display the back, but it's still, in my opinion, personally, I still like th the back. I think, I think it was really nice to add some windows there, and it's just a really nice. Oh, oops! Don't don't worry. Is that supposed to come off? As you can see. <laughs> Let me put this back this back on its stand before I break something. See, the roof comes off just like Creator does. And so, yeah, sharp light. I guess that's it. I mean, out of five stars, I rate this 4.5. It's a very nice house, and I really like it. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.